Hi sis, welcome to Fab Chic Matters. How are you doing? My name is Doris and here we talk everything fashion. How to look fabulous, chic, sophisticated, edgy on a budget while being modest at the same time. So for today's video, we are going to do part two of purging my needs and my coats. If you haven't seen part one, go back and watch it because then I have a bigger band. I'm actually looking for a special like poncho to do a celebrities um, style recreation video. And so I decided to purge through my bands of coats while I'm looking for that coat and just turn on the camera so i'm wearing the same clothes in the than the previous video this band is much smaller it shouldn't be that long but you know this is like a more casual vibe with chatting i'm talking about the things i bought and styling options and whatnot so thank you for tuning in <laughs> let's start with a video now ah uh, okay so let's start There was an era where I was buying a lot of those uh, neat dresses and I actually have a white one that I recently purged and I feel like the black one has got to go. Like they're super nice. This is actually brand new. I've only worn like a couple of times or so and uh, which one? I think it's like Boohoo. I cannot see the brand Boohoo or Nasty Girl or something but the thing is I'd rather something like what I'm wearing. I feel like it's more flattering. This dress is like straight up and down and it's got no shape. So I got rid of a white one. I'm going to get rid of a black one as well. Let's see. Huh, okay. Now this one, you see the shape situation that I'm talking about? It's, you know, it comes in and comes out. I feel like, you know, most clothes should kind of want to emphasize the feminine form and be more flattering like that. I know it kind of stretches, but let's be honest. I feel like it's a neat, like, heavy fabric, though. So that's what I'm thinking. Should I try this on and see? Or it's something I can give to my mom. My mom is a bit smaller than I am. So this is going to be perfect. I love this burgundy color, though, sis. You can wear this instead of wearing like jeans and a turtleneck or something. You just wear one piece, one dress like this, with your coat, with your cardigan, with your poncho, and you are good to go. So this one, I went to ask my mom. She wants to try it on. This is literally new. Next up, we have another, oh, the same thing, pretty much. Do I have, I need to try on certain things. Lord, I hope I'm not going to be like, I gave that away. <laughs> you know, it happens sometimes. You give something away and then a, a while later, you're like, oh, I maybe found something that will go perfectly with that top, with that bottom that I gave away. <laughs> so that's what I'm wondering i cannot see the um the size there's no tag but lord the red one is so gorgeous and i love red if you cannot tell so i'm thinking ah oh, okay it's okay it can go since i'm not wearing it i don't live in a colder climate like that i live in florida so honestly what are the odds that I'll actually reach out to those dresses unless I travel? I'm not sure. What were, which is a Target brand, but I believe I probably thrifted this one. This one looks very flimsy though. Let me see how much stretch it's got. I like the stripes. I like the color scheme. I mean, the stretch is good because I'm more into like oversized and like a bit loose clothes. So, but I love this. They're, they're very feminine. This one, I'm, I'm not sure how much I like it, but since I like this kind of like um, a bit loose kind of neat dress I'm wearing right now, I'm going to try this one later because it's as light as the one I'm wearing. So I might like it and I love the colors also. Okay, next up. Oh my gosh, just like the other one, the black that I just got rid of and the white I used to have. This one is a bit bigger, it looks like, but it's not really flattering. You know, the whole idea of purging is to get rid of things that... <laughs> 
we just want to reach out for. It's such a shame. Those are beautiful, beautiful. But it is what it is. It's got to go if I'm not going to wear this. Okay, now let's talk about this. Oh, this is by Zara. I actually love, love this uh, kind of like a brownish, burgundish color. I think it's gorgeous and I love this. I wore this on this channel already, like maybe three and a half years ago. And I love how flattering it is, you know, very nice with my chest. And it's kind of like it flares out at the bottom so i'm keeping this for sure i love anything that is like brownish brown is my favorite color if you did not know i'm going to keep this dress what have we here oh my gosh sis i bought every color possible of this look no 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 we're not having that we are not having that huh let me see here my red Zara coat, good. I actually had a red coat that I had thrifted, a vintage one from the other video. So now I realize I have another red coat here. Interesting. The other one had like a black color, so it's a bit different than this one. I like this Zara coat. I'm going to keep it. Are you kidding me? How often do you see a red coat like this? I'm going to keep this one for sure. Okay, next up. Ooh, another Zara coat. Oh my gosh, this green is just gorgeous, gorgeous. It's like the Bottega Veneta um, green a few years ago. Green was so trendy. You could see green in anything. And I thought the green craze also is what got me to purchase this coat. Let me try this on for you. Oh, this green is very nice. It needs some ironing and some steaming. But if you look past the wrinkles, this is gorgeous. This is fabulous. I'm definitely keeping this coat. This coat is fabulous thrifted vintage and you can actually remove like the faux fur color it's so well made the craftsmanship is just gorgeous oh my gosh look at that i hope you can see me okay in that angle what do you think i think it's gorgeous oh it's got pockets to boot. Oh my gosh, that's fabulous. Let me sit down and kind of take it in. Yes, 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 love it. Okay, that's definitely a keep. And that deep brown, it's not going anywhere. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is Zara. Got it. This one, like, is a loose coat with a drop shoulders. Very loose. This is the style. I don't know how I feel about it. You see what I mean? Let me sit down. Do you see what I mean? Do you like this style or do I need to add some shoulder pads? I feel like I can add shoulder pads to it to make it more structured. Otherwise, it's like, it makes me like a droopy shoulder. Like, like I borrowed somebody else's coat. If I, I don't know, but if I push shoulder pads, is it going to look right with the style? Because this is the style of this coat. Huh, what is going on? Let me see with a belt. Hmm. Okay, so this is like a maybe. I am going to try this on later. I'm going to try to maybe add some shoulder pads to see how I feel about it. Oh, this is fabulous. This here is just fabulous. Yes. Keeping this. Come on now. Keeping this. Ooh, this is just fab. Yes, I thrifted this at Goodwill. And this is vintage, so nice. I love this kind of deep camo color. And it's so structured, it's just 
it's just gorgeous it's just fabulous so elegant yes i'm keeping that since this video is over it was short and sweet i hope that you have enjoyed it and the styling options as well make sure that you have subscribed to my channel like this video comment hit the notification bell so you'll be um, notified every time i post a new video and there are so much more videos to come while some items are leaving others are coming in it's the cycle of life what can i say <laughs> So thank you so much for watching and I appreciate you. Stay blessed. Bye. <laughs>